class, today, we're gonna talk about a man named Thomas Freeman. Look, born in a slavery, Tommy was a rebel. His mother was a saint, but his father was the devil. Nobody understood why Tommy was so secluded. His passions came with a risk, but Tommy had to subdue him. When he was 14, his oldest brother ran away. He told him the night before that this is the only way. He was young, but he prayed for his brother to be free. The next week, he found his brother hanging from a tree. Well, reality struck, he ain't know who to trust, but he could feel it in his gut whenever something was up. So he got up to take a walk. He ran in Joe. Joe was like a father to him. He was 80 years old, but Lord knows he was wise. He delivered the warning. Tommy, go back to your quarters. Don't come out to the morning. But see, Tommy was stubborn. He ain't listen to no one. What he seen had him shook. shook. Wishing he never looked. See, his sister was beautiful, but she would rebel. And Massa, Sam, his father was straight out of hell. The devil. See, he was sort of like a shark in the water. See, he was sick enough to have his way with his daughter. And Tommy... Well, at this point, his blood was boiling, but what they didn't know is Tommy got a hold of some poison. He told his sister, while you cook and sprinkle this on his dish, she said, Tommy, I'm going to make the whole family sick. And she did. She dumped a bottle in a pot of spaghetti, his favorite. He cleaned the plate, his heart stopped, and he died at the table. She left the house and found Tommy working in the stable. She looked him in his face and told him, I'm willing to enable. They left the plantation with little hesitation. They met a group of slaves that had the same intentions. Their leader's name was Harriet. She had a gun, too. And she would use it only if that's what it comes to She said, I reckon you's is trying to be free too Well, I can free you, that I guarantee you But under one condition, you follow these rules Well, that was one condition they could agree to Fast forward, they made it all the way up north And now they living happily in Manhattan, New York Thanks to the liberators who forced freedom papers They never had a problem out of their white neighbors But Tommy started to question his own relevance He heard about the Union Army fighting the Confederates An opportunity to strengthen his immunity to live free So he enlisted, now he's engaging the opposition Advancing on the objective, his movements were so sporadic The enemy can't detect him, they murdered his only brother Raped and tortured his sister his rifle was out of bullets He dropped it and used his pistol His hate was justified Anger had taken over As memories filled his mind Artillery's getting closer He wasn't afraid to die But in the heat of the battle boom, A cannon round peppered him with shrapnel He's hit but can't feel it Bleeding but can't see it He managed to find his pistol He grabbed it and started squeezing He tried to get on his feet But he buckled and took a knee It's getting harder to breathe It's getting harder to see He squeezed Hit his target Caught the hammer with his thumb Bang, another body caught the hammer with his thumb Click, emotionless, he tried to load another one Click, well, he ran out of bullets in his gun The battlefield was riddled with dunnings and dead people Smoke covered the sun, but it couldn't conceal the evil Slowly losing his life, but his team was still in pursuit of the truth Meaning behind the red, white, and the blue Adrenaline still pumping, he still wanted to fight But the battle for him was over, he started to see the light At the end of the tunnel, but at that very moment He could hear his brother's voice, he told him to be Stronger. His eyes were wide open, he didn't have much longer Inhaling the sweet smell of gunpowder and the aroma Tasting his own blood made the smell bittersweet He took a chance and tried to get back on his feet But he stumbled in the pain that he once had doubled He struggled but he refused to play dead in the rubble The dusk was now dawn, the rain turned into drizzle It was peaceful until he heard that cannon round whistle Yeah Hey everybody, my name is Latrell Gillespie and I hope you enjoyed the presentation as much as I enjoyed making it. The objective of the presentation was to give you all an understanding of the psychology of a former slave who escapes to freedom and still chooses to fight in the Union Army despite being a free man. The reason why I chose this topic is because I feel that historically a lot of these stories or similar stories have gone untold and unwritten. So I wanted to give you all a story from my own perspective based on the things that I've learned over time. I also wanted to maintain that historical accuracy, so I used historical figures such as Harriet Tubman. 
And I also wanted to give you realistic scenarios to make the story more realistic. But overall, I wanted to give you a more unique experience. As opposed to something typical, I wanted to give you all something different. I wanted to put it in, I wanted to create lyrical content with music in the background. And I wanted to put a video together that could teach, but also keep your attention. So initially I was going to make a music video, but instead I chose to create a slideshow with uh, pictures of slaves to tell the story. Now the story is a, actually a fictional story. Thomas Freeman is a fictional character and the story is fictional, uh, but I did want to maintain that historical accuracy so that you all can understand what these former slaves had to go through and the challenges that they faced back in those days and what motivated them to fight for a country that didn't necessarily fight for them. So that was my whole purpose behind this, this presentation. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. By all means, go back and watch it again. Thank you all for watching and y'all have a wonderful day.